What is going on, everyone? My name's Boyt, and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action. In the left side of the screen, we do have Shadow Facts. Recently, Shadow Facts has been having some incredible success in tournaments. I believe he came second in the recent Golden Gift tournament, which that's that's one of the that was one of the big tournaments that Meta plays uh, as I put up. It was a, a technically an S tier tournament. Uh, you can actually go over to Liquipedia and see all of the tournaments that have been played uh, recently and and see how everyone's actually doing. If you're interested in it, it's a really cool website. It's got a lot of stats. Uh, Shadow Fax, in my opinion, is is one of the most well rounded players. He's always He's not a risky player, but he also will go for go for uh, go for timing attacks. He's not he he doesn't really screw up on the on the uh, on the micro very often. Uh, he's got uh, he's been playing the game for ages. Uh, his experience is really high. He's got huge speed. He's got huge god depth. He's he's going to be a player to beat in this tournament. He's definitely one of the favorites in my opinion. Uh, his opponent today though, uh, Tiger Boss. He's actually a guy who's done really really well in tournaments as of late however the big big weakness in tiger boss's uh in tiger boss's stat sheet here is the god depth he's only really known for his atlantean gameplay which means uh at the very most he can play three games out of this best of five with atlantean so he's gonna have some trouble if uh if he lose if he drops any games with atlantean and then also when the games go to best of seven, he's going to have to pick up an extra potential four gods to play. But without further ado, let's get in onto the game. Game number one, as always, on the map, Mega Random. Spawning in the left side of the map in the blue color, playing as Loki. His name is Shadowfax. His opponent today in the red color playing as Oranos. His name is Tiger Boss. And yes, competitive, mega, random. It's an exciting time to be alive here, ladies and gentlemen. Game number one. What can we expect? We've seen this matchup already. It was a cracker of a game. An absolute insane game played by... Uh, by Moore and Soup, where Soup went for a crazy and absolutely insane Heimdall rush against Soup's uh, against Moore's uh, Moore's Loki, uh, Moore's Aranos there with Loki. And what ended up happening is Moore had to go for a uh, he had to actually cut villagers to stay alive in that game, which ended up working out for him really, really beautifully. But he just couldn't hold on in the end. He couldn't get the gold starve. And uh, and uh, spoilers, uh, Soup got the got the win in the end where that's concerned. But it was an, an amazing, an absolute amazing game of uh, of craziness. As we do see Shadowfax scouting around, he's actually trying to decide whether or not he should go for a uh, go for a gold starve or or a Heimdall rush himself. Here, I'd have to assume as he's. Uh, trying to scout his opponent's, the front of his opponent's base out and just see if there's any exposed gold mines. It looks like he decides there's not. So he's going to be pulling back, trying to scout around the map. Still unsure as to if uh, if there's hunt on this map or not. There's a ton of food in the main base. And I think there was something like five, five boars here, which if you think about it, one, two, three, four, five. Five boars means... Uh, I can't do that math. 15... 15 Hundred, fifteen hundred uh, food, which means that there is a possibility here that this is all the food on the map, all of the hunt on the map. Uh, we do see the the house going down over here for Shadowfax as well. Tiger Boss looks like he's not doing anything too peculiar here, just going straight in onto those boars, uh, enjoying those, uh, and and just doing a standard build order here for Tiger Boss. One thing that we have been seeing of late, as we do see. One ball gets spotted over here. We're taking a look at the mini map up onto the top side of the, the map here. We've got some berries. We've got some goat. So there's berries on the corners of the map. There's one ball out on the side here, but that is it for Hunt. But one thing that Atlantean players and have been doing against Loki of late, and I think it is 100% correct, is they've been going for double military barracks. And the thing is, 
I, again, I've, I've actually done some research into this. Uh, when you're playing on the map uh, Oasis, when you're playing on the map Oasis, and, and you've only got access to, say, like three zebra and three giraffes or something, something like that, three zebra, three giraffe, then what, what ends up happening is not only does the Loki player produce less... Uh, less hersa but the uranus player can still go for the go for the double mil, double mermillo uh, opening because you just get yourself early husbandry out of your economic guild and jump onto jump onto the excessive amount of herdables that you have uh so we'll see how it's all going to go we do see prometheus coming through here for tiger boss uh, and we'll see what sort of a strategy is going to go. So the, the way that you play it essentially is, uh, it looks like he's actually not going for it. He's going hand axe straight away. But the way that you play the, the opening is, you, you put these two villagers onto wood. You grab husbandry straight away. As soon as you've got about 200 wood, you pull the villager off of wood and you chuck him over onto berries or onto onto goat. And then you spam the double barracks down. So we do see the walls coming up over here for Shadowfax. He wants to try and uh, secure this lone boar over here, which... Uh, Obviously, will be something he wants to eat, but it's a long, uh, a long pathway out onto this location to eat that boar. We do see the temple down on this location as well here, as uh, Shadowfax trying to secure that. We do see a boar is up on this spot as over here as well as the final two boars over here getting finished up. And uh, do we see pickaxe? Do we do see pickaxe coming through for Tiger Boss? He's going for a, a very, very heavy amount of uh, of economy here in this game as we do have both the Osberg wagon. And the scales of Catalpapos here for uh, for Shadowfax to grab if he so chooses. We do see the the wall getting taken down over here. Uh, Four said he was the god of choice here for Shadowfax, obviously. And uh, Prometheus coming through as we see military barracks. Double military barracks, indeed, is coming down for Tiger Boss. Did he end up getting husbandry here? No husbandry just yet. One of the reasons to grab early husbandry is just so that your goats uh, get a little bit of extra... Uh, resources in them as Tiger Boss moves over here onto these berries for the time being. Mermillo starting to come out. We do see the Promethean coming in onto this location over here as uh, as he's going to be searching around for some sort of uh, raids as the villagers moving forward over to, to, to eat this lone boar on this location. It's a lot of villagers to send to that boar. Potentially maybe just sending five villagers and putting the rest over onto herdables wouldn't have been a bad idea there at all as the uh, the Valor does come through as Tiger Boss starting to move forward. He's got five villagers on those berries at this point as we do see the villagers coming through here. Going to be dragging that boar in onto this location over here is the Hursa coming through over here to start taking this one out. We do see the the villagers starting to shank away. One villager getting very low on HP, but does manage to keep that one alive here as the boar does end up getting taken down on that location. The Mamillo coming in over here as well as Hall of Fanes starting to come through. Got to wait on that Hall of Fanes here. If you take a look at the stats here, 143 HP compared to 150 HP. Uh, you've got 8.8 .8 damage compared to 9.6 damage. You've got 20% hack armor compared to 34% hack armor. Hero Mamillo are every... In every way, stronger than the Hursa, apart from that speed, which comes through with Hall of Thanes. Obviously, also that the HP comes up as well. So now they start getting exactly the same HP, or a little bit more HP, but the, the armor is definitely better for those Hero Mamillo. So you want to get as many of those Hero Mamillo out as you possibly can. But there are a decent amount of Hursa over on this location, as Shadowfax is going to be holding on here as best as he possibly can as the Hursa retreating back over onto this location over here. And the villagers will be pulling back as well. Uh, they can jump onto a wood location. They can jump onto the berries over here. He could drag these villagers off the wood here, put them over onto the, the berries, onto the pigs there, and all the other good stuff. As we do see a house starting to get targeted down. As the Hursa, they're going to need to get across the map and start doing something. As we do see these villagers, they are over on this location over here. Will Shadowfax decide to go for some sort of a raid over there? Because he's got them with the spy here. As the, uh, the villagers, they're actually moving over onto the this wood line over here so they are very very out in the open and Shadowfax is not going to expect there to be a spy on that one or at least he hasn't expected there to be I think he deleted that Mamillo to save the favor there that's actually an interesting play by Tiger Boss as the army starting to move across here we see a mana getting thrown up over on that location I would have liked to have seen potentially Shadowfax be a little bit more coy about going up onto this uh, onto this location to raid it because it would have been a huge amount of damage here but Tiger Boss pulling back here now Shadowfax still moving around onto this location location to start 
getting the damage done. Meanwhile, over onto this location here, the troll getting some uh, some rocks getting thrown. The village is going to jump into this uh, into this manor here as it's starting to get targeted down. The units here for Tiger Boss starting to move up onto this location. Well, not yet, but now the village is getting targeted down over here as they're trying to. Uh, Re re rebuild this mana trying to keep it as alive for as long as they possibly can all really Shadowfax needs here is a potential like Ainiar spawn or something like that and he can completely devastate those Mermillo over here we've got 11 Hursa to 11 Mermillo so it's a very very close but yeah if there was an Ainiar there it would be a completely different story as the Hursa are going to be retreating back more units coming through as the as the throwing axemen starting to come out here. As we do see now the throwing axemen coming out, the counter barrack starts producing the terma. Perfect. This is a hundred percent the way that the uh, that the matchup should go uh, from the Aranus side of things and from the Loki side of things. So we'll see how it's all going to go as Shadowfax still trying to move around the map, trying to find a, a location that he can attack here and, and, and deal with. One thing that would be a really good idea for Shadowfax here before he actually engages in a fight, same too for Tiger Boss, would be to get an armory down and get himself uh, the and get himself the, the copper mail upgrade. It's such a beautiful upgrade to have as the Hurso searching around the map. The gold mine in the main base here for Tiger Boss. still got 1,500 gold on it. This is going to be the problem here for Shadowfax moving forward is the gold mines. They're both kind of on the same location. There is one on the top location over here as the Hurso are coming through here to start raiding this as the unit's trying to retreat back here for Tiger Boss to deal with this one as the Hurso sitting in the main base over here just being defensive. We do see the units trying to get pushed back here. He does pull them off that location over here. Going to go after those Mamilla. The Mamilla do jump into the manor here as the Hurso are going to get some extra damage done over onto this location. Tiger Boss realizes this isn't all of the army of Shadowfax here as the units try to get some good damage done over here. One uh, Hursa going after that matter. It's almost getting taken down as we do see Medium Mamilla does come through. The army going to be retreating back ever so slightly as now Tiger Boss decides to return back here yet again. We do see the, the Mamilla do get taken out over there. No, no picks just yet as the mana will get taken down. Not quite taken down as the, the citizens pulling through here. Villagers pop out there. Valor gets dropped down as one villager does get heroized over on that location there as Shadowfax now moving across the map. Do we see a, a heroic age through for Shadowfax just yet? Not just yet. He's a about to have the gold income. Walls coming up over here, still putting pressure on everywhere as the army searching through in onto this location to check out the gold mines and everything else here. Shadowfax does have 12 villages on gold here as the armory just about to pop up. Farms getting dropped down now as well for Shadowfax. He's going to have a good amount of, uh, of farms here. He should continue to put those farms down moving forward here in this game as going for some raids in the main base over here as the temple starting to get taken down. He's got a decent amount of resources in the back. Now he's got two options here and I think one is safer than the other. So option number one is go for a fight here while he's advancing to the uh, heroic age and try and get himself the gold mine over here. Option two Two, and I like this one here. This is an option two, but option option two is obviously get some walls up and just try and, uh, and delay while he does go onto that gold mine. But option three is actually to drop those dwarves over onto wood while he's advancing. He's got enough gold here to get him up to 115 population. He just needs to wait for Heroic Age to get that, uh, that natural boost of, or that free boost of Hursa uh, HP and damage. As he does get a, a, another Valkyrie spawn over here, which would be very, very good. Tiger Boss throwing away some units here as the dwarves do end up coming over onto this gold mine. Which is completely fine here. Shadowfax is going to be continuing to throw up farms over here. Does he have his upgrade here? He's got himself plow. Yes, he does. He doesn't have any other upgrades. Very Loki esque here as the army trying to come through onto this location. Shadowfax shouldn't be taking fights just yet. Just wait for Bragi and maybe even just go for a full send of his Hursa in onto the main base of Tiger Boss. Tiger Boss right now, he's getting himself copper weapons, but does he have himself copper mail yet? He looks like he doesn't have copper mail. I think it's a bit of a mistake to get yourself uh, copper copper weapons before copper mail in this matchup because your opponent has got only uh, only copper damage. Uh, damaging units here as we do see the villagers turning around getting some shanking action over here some villagers will get taken out on this location one scrailing coming over here could drop a market down over here as well as the army going to be coming through over onto this location the hearse are going to be swinging around here as the army going to be enjoying sitting on this healing spring getting a little bit of healing back up here as one hearse does get taken down over here the villagers over on this location still chasing away that um, the miller do manage to take that down we'll be able to put them back onto the uh the the resource gathering location very very soon as battle ball 
probably going to start coming out here. Shadowfax sitting at full population on this location. Imagine a wall here to prevent the retreat path would be a really, really good idea as we do see the flaming weapons coming down. Will Shadowfax think of it as the army going to be trying to circle back over here? This is a big flaming weapons, but will it be enough? No building blocking coming through here. Do we see an attempt here from Shadowfax? Yes, we do. The, be the, the longhouse does come up. You're going to be able to take that down very, very shortly here. Another building block coming in here. Shadowfax not able to get them all down as the army is going to be retreating back. It's absolutely huge for Tiger Boss to avoid this fight here. He's going to be able to sneak through on this location. There's no military units coming through over here for Shadowfax to get a building block uh, and prevent the army from retreating through here. And we will be seeing the army coming through this wall here, trying to get a little bit more damage done. We've got units coming through onto this gold mine over here as well. We do have a Hursa and a Throwing Maxman as well as a Battle Boar over here to help get this damage done and perfect, protect his gold mine. As Tiger Boss does a complete ring around the Rosie here. He's playing with fire in this game uh, as there's still about 10 seconds left of uh, Flaming Weapons. Not only that, there's Defender's Advantage with Battle Balls going to be coming through. Plenty of gold in the bank. Tiger Boss here has... Did he hit the Heroic Age here just yet? I, 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 don't, I don't think he has. It doesn't look like he's in the Heroic Age. He's still in the Classical Age. Uh, as... Anyways, the army coming through onto this location over here. We've got the Heroic Age Shadowfaxian uh, Hursa going to easily be able to clean up all of these Bermillo. I think the Tiger Boss could have just retreated here, but he's going to be sacrificing his entire army here as it all gets cleaned up. And Shadowfax is going to be in a fantastic position. Now the question is, where to next for Shadowfax? Is it full population? Do you grab a town center or two? Do you go to the Mythic Age here? What do you throw down? Any other hill forts? Doesn't matter because Tiger Boss taps out. We will never know what the correct play behind it. Tiger Boss is showing some respect to Shadowfax here, tapping out after that play. I think that Tiger Boss made the perfect call to go for a, a kind of ring around the Rosie, but just instead of going into here, just retreat back to his main base, try and get to the the the, uh, the heroic age, get himself his upgrades, and just continue fighting in this one. But Instead, he, he sacrifices his entire army instead of running around here and continuing to put pressure on left, right, and ce uh, center. But a uh, a really nice play. I think well, maybe maybe Shadowfax got some villager kills up here because there were villagers over here that I think Shadowfax maybe t t took out, which I did not notice. In fact, we can actually confirm that here in this uh, in this location. It doesn't look like he... Well, he did lose a citizen. But he's still sitting at 13 over here. So I don't know if that's the... Not sure. Not sure exactly if he lost all of them or not. But GG, well played by Shadowfax. Uh, I, I, yeah, more and more watching this matchup, Loki is uh, is a difficult one to, to take out. I do think that Aranos can win this matchup. I think that you have to play it in a certain way. Uh, and... and Tiger Boss, he did get himself the husbandry. He did play it relatively correctly, but you do have to. I think you just bring the villagers back after you eat this hunt instead of leave them, leaving them out as a as a defensive liability there. So it allows you to be a little bit more accurate, uh, active with your army. You guys, if you guys enjoyed this game, please consider the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next game.